Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match reaction. Manchester United 4, Everton 0. Yeah, what, do you say? what can you say about it? A, a terrible performance in the second half from Everton. It, probably a terrible performance once it went 2 0, if truth be told. Uh, the defence today, absolutely poor. Every single one of them was, was really poor today. Um, can't really have a go to open pick for, but the four defenders in front and Jared Brantwaite. Had a nightmare today. Ashley Young, really poor. Michalenko, bad. And Tarkovsky, as bad as I've seen him in an Everton shirt today. Really poor. And yeah, I mean, the manager went with a change of front. Beto came in and replaced Dominic Calvert Lewin in the attack. He went with the core in midfield. I'd have had Mangala with Ghana personally, but the manager went with the core McNeil in the 10. Lynch from one side and Jai the other. And Everton started the game really brightly, to be honest. Played slightly differently because Beto was there. And it helped us. Rather than just lumping it forward towards Calvert-Lewin, we actually got it down a little bit and moved it around and had a couple of half opportunities early. I mean, Dwight McNeil running through. If he had a right foot, he would have been able to get a shot away. But it was quite embarrassing, really, watching a Premier League footballer try and turn back onto his, you know, his favoured foot. And you just can't do it. You can't do it at the top level. Try and get it back inside when all the space is over to his right. Just get it out your feet and hit it. And he wasted that opportunity. United had had a couple of opportunities as well. Brantwaite had started the game quite brightly. A couple of really good defensive clearances. And then Diallo missed an absolute glorious chance for them. Really good ball by Zerks. He'd got it out of his feet. He could have just passed it in the far corner past Jordan Pickford. Everton were looking bright with NGI. And at that moment, you're thinking, we're doing all right. We're putting them under pressure. United didn't look like they were comfortable. We were breaking. The final ball wasn't great. Made some really poor decisions. Uh, and that really led to Everton, to Everton's downfall. We can see the goal because we're on a good counter-attack. Ashley Young does really well initially. And then his cross is, is shocking. Under it is cross. United break. A clearance and Rashford sets off. McNeil's treading water behind him and he runs into the box and Tarkovsky can see it's a corner. And from the corner, or oh, Brantway comes across, and from the corner, Everton just leave Marcus Rashford on his own. The ball comes, Rashford hits a goal with Brantway sticks a leg. I've never understood why defenders do it, but sticks a leg out in the six yard box and diverts it past Pickford. I've looked at it again on the replay a few times. I think it might have snuck in the corner anyway. It, Jordan dived, but I don't know whether he'd have got there. It was a good, it was a good, a good effort by Rashford. He'd done well to control the finish, but Brantwaite, Brantwaite dived, like just dives in the way and deflects it past Jordan Pickford and give the England goalkeeper no chance. And that was a kick in the, the guts, really, because it come from a poor delivery down the other end from us, and that quick break gets United to the corner and he punishes us. Everton got a little bit foothold back in the game, started knocking it around again. Again, got in a couple of good positions and couldn't deliver the final ball. And then a ball, you know, ball played out. The core under it's a ball back to Brantwaite. But he, it's on him. He takes a poor touch and tries to turn, thinks he's got ages. And it's taken off him and United are in again. Fernandez runs in, squares it and Zerksy side foots it past Jordan Pickford to make it 2-0 to United. And... 2-0 and certainly one of the goals was self-inflicted. I feel like both of them we played a big part in and we were 2-0 down and it was game over simply because Everton don't come back under Sean Dyche. Just the fact we've done it once. We've done it once. We've come back from a goal down to win once and that was against Crystal Palace back in September. Um, it's the same old, same old. Whichever way you cut it, you know, 2-0 down, get in at the break, think he'll fire them up, he might make a change or two. Come out for the second half and within 15, 20 seconds it was game over. Michalenko and Tarkovsky paired of them, I don't know, you know, or what they're doing. And it's 3-0. You know, good run by Rashford. Lovely little ball in. And it's 3-0. And there you go, game over. We had done the fourth. We can play a ball forward, Michalenko. There's three men behind him attacking, but he gives a terrible ball to Tarkovsky who, for some reason, doesn't do a full-blooded tackle, pulls out the tackle and it's nicked off him and off United go. And 
the ball's threaded through to Zerksy and he side foots it past the open pick for, for four. And, you know, with, with 4-0 with about half an hour to go, you're thinking this could get really embarrassing. And yes, they had other opportunities to make it five. Um, but I don't know. Uh, listen, uh, again, what do you do? What do you do? Another game without a goal. Four games without a goal. <clears throat> don't win games of football. We've played 13 this season. We've won two. We've had, we haven't scored a goal in four games. We're bottom of lots of the, the stats in the Premier League. We've won seven games of football since December, mid-December. And it's not good enough. It just isn't good enough. And, and people can defend the manager all he wants. And people can, you know, have a go at others as well. And they'd be justified in having a go at the players as well. The players haven't been good enough. But this team, this squad of players can't play football. It showed it in the opening 20 odd minutes. But it just doesn't look like there's any belief in anything they're doing. And you can't concede the goal and that's it. That's just it's just not good. You you have to put the work rate in. Manchester United, the biggest, most impressive thing about them today was the work rate they put in off the ball. Even a a 2 0 and a 3 0 and a 4 0. They're chasing everything. Listen, I know when you're comfortable. I mean, I can't remember the last time I ever my phone it up, but when you are winning, it's easier to do those hard yards than when you're getting beat. But you have to do it regardless. Football's difficult. Football is difficult. <clears throat> but that's why you paid a lot of money. You have to put the work in. You know, all of those Evertonians who've got up this morning and gone to Manchester to watch their team, despite the team hovering above the relegation zone, not scoring a goal, playing some of the worst football I've ever seen. This season, certainly at home. And the fans have turned up in their numbers again and gone and backed the players. And to, to see Dwight McNeil... I don't really dig players out on here, I don't. But Dwight McNeil today was way, way, way below. Way off it. And the managers left them on the pitch. Like, miles off it today. And that's not good enough. That isn't good enough. You can't walk around the football pitch. You can't. And... That's what some of our players are doing today. And, you know, Jake O'Brien got on, but I think that was because Tarkovsky, well, it was because Tarkovsky took a knock because Harrison Armstrong was going to come on. He put Nathan Pat. I didn't realise he remembered who Nathan Patterson was, but Patterson come on, done all right, got in a couple of times. He done okay. Um, Dom's come on for Beto, you know, Mangala's on. We've made some changes, but we've got it. We're in a relegation fight right now and we've put ourselves in there. And we've got a battle and scrap to get out of it. And there's two huge games of football this week. Two home games. Wolves. It'll be really tricky. Well, really tough, won't it? And then obviously Liverpool, who are, who are the best team in the land at the moment. So I don't know where we go from here. You know, we've got 11 points from 13 games. Absolutely horrific. Horrific stats by anyone's stretch. 10 goals scored this season. And... Yeah, it's 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 embarrassing at the moment, and we got it. We have got to step it up. And for me, it's embarrassing not because I think these players are terrible, because I don't. I think the players are way better than, much better than what they're showing right now. Much better, but you're getting beat, and results results don't lie. Picking up draws every now and again, nil nil draws. Having this, oh, we've only lost one in eight, which one of them eight before today was a was a loss. By the way, it was Southampton. Got to win games. That, that's all that matters. Winning games of football. And Everton have forgotten how to win, to use a Sean Dyke phrase. Um, and we've got to try something totally new. We're doing the same old, same old. And we've got to try something new. And we need, we need, we definitely need three points this week out of Wolves and Liverpool. And, you know, obviously four to six points would be really, really, well, six would be amazing. Four points would be really good, but we need three. This can't carry on. After this week, we've got Arsenal away, Chelsea at home, City away. You know, we're just games are just getting ticked off, and people are going, "Oh, it's all right, it'll get sorted." Not good enough that today. Not good enough. Embarrassing. United hadn't scored four in a game since twenty twenty one, and that was easy for them. And that, and it was our a lot of it was our own doing tactically and and just players like I said pulling out to fifty fifties and terrible decision making. Has cost Everton today, and they're all going to have to be up for it Wednesday. It's a huge game now against Wolves on Wednesday, and that isn't good enough. Man of the match. I don't know. 
know, can I give it to Patterson? He was on for a bit. Um, Beto, the fans, maybe, maybe the fans were on at the match today. Because the play, I can't, honestly, don't think any Everton played. It's just a gag. Give Ev, you know, ran around, but I don't think he had a great game. The core, no. McNeil, no chance. Lindstrom, no chance. Um, and GI, maybe Illiman and GI. Maybe Illiman and GI for man of the match because he tried to take the game to United. But again, even his, you know, final ball has got to be better. The end product has got to be there because it isn't at the moment, but at least he, he was positive. And took the game to United. There you go. I've said I've said way more than I thought I was going to say. So there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Another defeat for Evan. Another game without a goal. A little bit depressing, to say the least. Thanks for watching. See you later.